for Ekene, a little accident of uh, spilling his uh, coffee on his notepad sparked up brilliant and creative ideas that birthed a new career path. Ekene's coffee paintings uh, tackles critical subjects, uh, including poverty and terrorism. What best to call if what best to call if then caffeinated arts? Well, Ekene Ingege is here in the studio to talk to us about this. Thank you very much for coming to join us. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'd like to be civil. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us about this caffeinated art, yes. coffee art. What is it about? Uh, f frankly, I'm here in this I don't take coffee, so I, I wonder. I want, uh, yeah. Arts, the, only art I know, the only art I know of in coffee is um, la latte, where it's <laughs> ha on top of the coffee, but on the cup, on, yes, on, 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 yes. a, on a canvas. Not the, on, on canvas, no. Yeah, well, um, I'm a coffee person. Okay. I love mm -hmm. coffee a lot, and um, uh, it happened to be an accident mm. that spilled on my notepad, and I liked the stain. You know, the stain Can you imagine? <laughs> you liked the stain? <laughs> yeah, it was a good stain. Yeah. A very good one. <laughs> you know, so... Um, Coming from Africa, this is a medium that um, is originated from a, a plant mm. or a food that was discovered here mm. in Africa. The medium is black like us, the okay. medium is strong like us, and the medium is very attractive. So I, I decided to stick to it because it's more African than using any mm. of the foreign mediums. Uh, but some would say that coffee is not really an African yeah. thing. Not all Africans uh, appreciate coffee as much as uh, people in other developed well, countries do. Yeah. Yeah. So what's the level Latin of acceptance America. of this art in the Africa? The level of acceptance has been mind-blowing, but mostly abroad. You see? Yes, because um, they are more caffeinated than us yes. <laughs> and they love the fact that you know they have the artworks that they could actually have the aroma of coffee mm. around it mm. instead of you know just having to okay now the one on the screen now has to do with uh, the the other uh, of uh, Ilefe, Oni of Ife that's uh, Ojaja the second I think this is um, a, a picture of um, what I'm holding here, Malala, right? Malala. Yes, Malala, Malala yes, exactly. Yes, yes, and um, Nelson Mandela. Now, sorry about it, but okay, uh, this is. <laughs> it can't smell coffee it anymore. Can't, uh, but you use real coffee. Yes, I use Black real coffee. Black coffee. Black coffee. coffee, yes. Wait, some would just be thinking, you bought coffee to make this. <laughs> <laughs> I the don't one that was brands, on the screen in the yeah. yeah. the same coffee we drink, you know. Instead of, it's a matter of um, diluting the coffee powder okay. into a paste and using it to paint. Hmm. Hmm. The, the one that was shown on the screen earlier that had yes. the honor of Ife, has coffee been on it? Talk to us what yes. inspired that okay, painting. Now, I wanted to, when I discovered um, the coffee painting, I thought I, w I thought I was the only one in the whole world that was doing it. Today. <laughs> but I found out that there are a lot of artists in Europe and Asia that actually do paint with coffee. In Nigeria? No, not in Nigeria, in Europe and Asia. How about in Nigeria? You're the only no, one. No, I'm the You're only the one. Only one. Wow. Yes. Hmm. So I wanted to expand the idea to something I haven't seen. And I went to painting on canvas. I realized that, of course, some artists are already painting on canvas. But I haven't seen anyone using the roasted coffee beans. Hmm. So I tried using the roasted coffee beans and um, as well as the instant coffee together to make an art piece. So um, the one of the Oni of Ife is the second piece I've ever done that way. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay, we, we would love to talk more about the, the paintings with coffee, but we have to leave it at this point. But definitely the conversation would continue. I'm certain that I'll be going home with one. <laughs> 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 All right, thank you, Ekene, for your time on TVC Breakfast. Thank you. About this. Now, talk to us about... Um, Caffeinated art, it, it seemed to be a new art form in Nigeria, since you yeah. are the only person doing this now. Um, how lucrative has it been for you? Well, <coughs> it's been quite, it's been quite easy and um, very attractive uh, compared to when I, I was painting watercolor and mm. acrylic. Oh. This has been like the one that actually blew me out mm. compared to that. Despite the fact that I had not had um, a solo exhibition and coffee, I became more popular than when I even had a solo exhibition 
and acrylic and watercolor. So now that you have become as popular, <laughs> <laughs> what are your plans? Where do you see coffee art in the next uh, five years, so to speak? I see coffee art being studied in schools. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. That's because that's actually my aim. I wanted to be involved in the, into the fine arts curriculums in secondary schools and then in Why? polytechnics as well. Yeah, because um, it's it's good for us to to be um, to be vast in everything we do in art. And in Nigeria here, we seem to be a little kind of limited. In schools, we are taught the same thing that you know that has been on for years and ages. But right now, this new artist comes up with different kind of techniques every day and they need to involve these styles and techniques in schools as well so that the students could have this freedom of exploring different mediums and all that in arts in Africa. Mm. Okay, so you, you talked about an exhibition. Uh, you've not had an exhibition, but when do you plan on having any exhibition on coffee art? I hope to have my next solo exhibition on coffee art in 2020. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. and it's going to be mind-blowing it's something i've been planning for a couple uh, for for some years now and i've not been able to achieve it mm. but in 2020 it's definitely going to work out mm. so, so 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 far what what really is on the ground for you in terms of uh, are you getting people coming to say i want to learn and all of that yes and I how do you source for materials we know coffee is grown in nigeria though yeah, um, about materials, I have been working with some coffee companies here in Nigeria that mm. actually grow coffee in Delta States, okay. Okay. and as well in the North. So I've been working with their coffee beans for the roasted coffee technique, for the coffee beans technique. But the instant coffee, I just use um, various instant coffee powder for that. And... Um, that has that has been quite easy for me because the materials are here in Nigeria, mm -hmm. and um, I, I can't I can't run out of materials. Yeah, true. Mm. Yeah. True. So yeah, it's it's good business. And that's what it's it means. It's very good business. Very, very good. good bu very <laughs> good. Business. Oh, I like I've that. Had, I've had foreigners asking me on um, social media to teach them. Mm. with videos. You know, have a YouTube pages. And oh, all so that you so have online classes learn. now. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Uh, well, you <laughs> might have a student soon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ekene Ngige, for your time. Great work you You're are doing. Welcome.